Hi, I am Ali Ahmed. In this video, we are going to discuss vCenter on Windows deployment prerequisites. So let's start our discussion with deployment model overview. When we talk about deployment model, we really have two types of deployment model. One, vCenter with embedded PSC, where vCenter and platform services controller will be running on the same machine. The second type of deployment model which we have is vCenter with external PSC where the platform services controller and the vCenter server will run on different virtual machines. Now we understand what is deployment model. Let's move on to next item, deployment requirement. You need to make sure that you synchronize the clock of the virtual machine on which you want to install vCenter server. You also need to make sure that you have uh, correctly set up DNS for the virtual machine on which you want to install vCenter server. You also need to know that you cannot install vCenter server on an ActiveRT domain controller. If you want to run your vCenter server account other than the local system account, then you need to make sure that the user is a member of administrators group. The user must have log on as a service permission and the local service account must have read permission on, on the folder where you want to run the vCenter server. As well as the user must have a write permission on, uh, on the registry. And you also need to make sure that the machine on which you want to install vCenter server is communicating properly with Active Directory domain controller. At this stage, we understand different generic deployment requirements which is not sufficient information you need to install vCenter server on Windows. We highly recommend you to visit VMware documentation page and understand specific hardware, software, storage and database requirements, which will help you to install your vCenter server on Windows efficiently. In this video, we discussed different deployment models. We also took a look on different generic deployment requirements. Let's move on to the next video where we will discuss deployment workflow. Thank you.